Hello and thank you for joining me on my video series, Installing and Configuring IBM Domino 9 Social Edition on CentOS 6. I'm covering both 64-bit and 32-bit versions. I'm your host, Devin Olson, and this is Part 8, Domino Configuration. Okay, a um, couple of important house cleaning notes. Uh, in the interim, between recording the previous video where we actually installed Domino, and recording this video, I've had some some hard drive issues, um, and as such, I, I was forced to 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 move some of my virtual machines to another drive. Because of that, uh, rather than mucking about with trying to move this entire virtual machine, I just went ahead and and reinstalled it um, and went back through all of the steps that I had previously covered. So I've I've got a couple of. Uh, it's been done more than once. Uh, what that means is um, you may notice some slight differences in the interface between the previous version of the video and this version. Uh, most importantly, the thing you're going to notice is the IP address has changed. Now, if you haven't been focusing on the IP addresses and stuff like that, it's not really a big deal. But just know, you know, if you do notice when we're doing stuff that there's a different IP address, it's not because you know there's some any movie magic or anything going on. It's simply because I had to recreate my VM. So uh, here we are at my uh, virtual machine. I'm going to go ahead and log in, and um, I'm going to log in as uh, root. No, I'm not. I'm going to log in as um, notes, and notes is password is password. There we go. And first thing I need to do is um, get our IP address that we're going to be dealing with. So it's uh, you'll notice there under the number two, the Ethernet interface uh, uh, 10.211.55.14, and <clears throat> it'll become apparent in a moment why I care about that. Uh, I need to change directories to the directory where we had installed. Um, IBM Lotus or IBM Domino. <laughs> Boy, it's going to take a lot to get rid of that <laughs> before it's a habit. It's going to take a long time uh, to get. Uh, we installed IBM Domino 9 Social Edition, the data directory that we installed those to, and that was the um, local and uh, demo and Domino data directory. So this is where we installed it. And now what I need to do is I need to um, run. The, um, oh, and by the way, I'm just using the magic uh, tab key in Linux. It'll, it's smart enough to, to fill out the stuff that I need to fill out um, if the directory doesn't, if the directory matches. So there we go. I need to start the server. I need to start it with the listen parameter. So uh, opt IBM domino bin server hyphen listen. So now what, what has happened is the Domino server has started up and it is now in listen mode and it's waiting for me to configure it. So what I'm going to do is I need to connect to that server from a, another machine. So here we have uh, another virtual machine where I have uh, um, Windows running and from this machine I'm going to go ahead and go to Lotus Applications and run the remote server setup tool. And here we come up, and this is why we needed that remote address. Um, so it's uh, 10.211. Oops, come on, why isn't it typing? There we go, 10.211.55.14. Uh, uh, port 8585. And if you remember, we opened that port in the firewall a couple of uh, versions ago, so the firewall is open. Uh, we're going to choose no on previous attempt settings because we want this to be nice and clean. <coughs> so here we are. We're going to start the setup. Hit next. Uh, I'm setting this up as the first server in my domain. Uh, the server name is going to be demo. Great. It's a demo. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Organization name is learning. L-E-A-R-N-I-N-G. X pages. Uh, certifier password, P-A-S-S-W-O-R, no, I typed it wrong, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D, there we go, P -A 
S-S-W-L-R-D. And whatever you do in a real environment, do not use such a terrible password. Okay, we know that. Uh, it's not AZ Lighthouse. It's um, learning X pages. And we're going to hit next. And let's just go here and hit admin. Um, again, I'm not doing best practices on how to configure a Domino server. We're just knocking this out to show it can be done. Um, I'm sure that some of my development, or some of my admin friends out there are probably rolling over their graves at, at my horrible choices here. Um, well, they're not dead yet, so they're, if they were dead, they'd be rolling over their graves. Anyway, let's continue on. Uh, web browsers, internet mail clients, directory services, next, next, next. Hit next, yes, 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 prohibit. This is a good thing, this is a good thing, yay, hit next. And we're going to go ahead and set it up. And it's going and doing its thing. Finish. Boy, that was pretty painless. That dialog box that just came up that I should have referenced uh, asking if the um, listener service should be stopped. And I, I said, yes, stop the listener service. What that did is it shut down the server right here. So it stopped the listener service. So cool. Um, we've done our initial configuration. Um, and normally, if everything worked, at this point, we could go ahead and start the Domino server and everything would be fine in a normal, perfect world. However, there's a problem, and that problem has to do with a thing called Bindsock. And um, Bindsock is, <coughs> excuse me. BindSock is a program that is used to bind to a socket, meaning it binds a protocol or it binds a, 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 a port to a socket. So um, BindSock is a program that's used to, to grab a socket, bind a particular piece of software to that socket or that port so that it can listen on that port. And BindSock is what's used in, in, in a Linux environment to, to do things like bind your HTTP service to port 80 or bind your SMTP service to port 25. It's a very important, very critically needed uh, bit of code. And that program is what is necessary to have your Domino server listen to port 80 for HTTP or listen to port 25 for SMTP or listen to port, I don't know, 443 or whatever. That's, that's how your Domino service can listen to these socket or listen to these ports. Okay? Pretty simple. There's a problem with the initial Domino installation and setup and um, we need to fix that problem. Um, but we don't have time left on this video. So, ooh, dun, 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 I love leaving you with a you know, cliffhanger. Um, join me on my next video, and um, we will, I will discuss how to correct the bind sock issue. It's really quite easy, and I'll discuss it in a little more detail um, when you come back on the next video. And that's pretty much going to be the last in this series uh, at the moment that I can think of, unless I can figure out some other video that you'll need. Uh, please uh, go to my website learningxpages.com to read about uh, XPages development and my thoughts and journeys on, on, that, on, that, on that path. And um, you can go to devinolson.net to read my blog. Uh, please also check out notesin9.com. That's a site run by my buddy David Leedy. And he has tons of incredibly important and helpful and useful videos on how to do cool stuff in notes. Once again, I'm Devin Olson, and I thank you for joining me.